Happy New Year! <laughs> it's 2017. I have so much going on this year and some things are bad, some things are good. I will be recording it and writing about it along the way so subscribe now for this year to be going well and join me on this journey because I really think 2017 is going to be a good one for me and for all you guys so come on just smile and be happy because it's a new year. Also sorry if I sound a bit grotty I have got a cold so I just bear with me. Hey guys it's me Sarah and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a rather long video for you so go grab a cup of tea and sit down snuggle up with your blanket and some cosy socks and you know just curl up and enjoy this video. This video is a what I got for Christmas and no ways am I trying to brag or anything blah 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 blah. You know me I'm not trying to brag so let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to go through is the present I actually got from my friends. So the first present I got from one of my friends is these. Now these are the Snap Fizz and Relax Zoella Bath Beauty Gingerbread Bath Bombs and they are adorable. The next thing I got was from a different friend. Now she got me this Letter Copper C. The next thing I got from the same friend is these. Now they are elephants, which is my favourite animal, and pink, which is my favourite colour, and their socks, which is one of my favourite things. So they just know me really well, and obviously a lot of people know me really well because I also got another pair of these from my auntie. The next thing from the same friend was this um, Bath Cosmetics Rather Blissmus bath bomb, which is just this Santa bath bomb. She also got me a lot of other things which I cannot currently see, which makes me think I've already put them in my room somewhere or been using them. My next friend got me a little plushie, which you can hang up at Christmas time, which is really cute because she calls me Bambi. From the same friend, she got me this which is a little book for big ideas, which as you can see has got like a map of the world on, so I um, throwing this into my handbag and when I go to the places like London and Brighton because I'm gonna go there this year finally and maybe on holiday this year I don't know or just traveling anywhere or like if even if I go to places I've been before but do a new thing I'm gonna record it in here and then one of my other friends got me this which is one of those like little dishes you find in Urban Outfitters it's just this heart with this like speckly kind of detailing and you know you never have enough things for your room another Christmas present for one of my friends is this which is a piece of art that she did of like a like, dragonfly made of pebbles with my name so this is really cute and this is definitely going in my room the next thing I got was from my granny. The first thing she got is this now or never, one of these days, sooner or later, notebook. So it's just this pink and gold notebook, which inside has multicolored pages and they're just um, lined, obviously. The next thing she got me was kind of quirky, but she had like a purpose for it. So I thought it was just really cute and had her name and my name both written all over it and the they are these two hangers now i mean have you ever seen a hanger that looks like this probably not i haven't i mean it is a stem for starters it has a flower and a ladybird i mean you can't get really cuter so the idea with these was to put my prom dress on when I get it. The next thing I got was from my auntie. So my auntie got me some eyeshadows which are really pretty. They're like these brown, blues, um, golds and coppers. Then she also got me this which as you can tell she knows me well. It is a, right, I don't know how to pronounce it. The, the, the Swarovski, 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 I'm going with that crystal elephant like paper holder. These are really cute and invaluable to me because I know how much thought goes into these things. They're gorgeous and little things like this really are sentimental to me. So yeah, and it's an elephant. This must be like the hundredth one I've got in my room now. The next thing I got was also from my auntie and this is the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush little miniature body set. 
The next thing was also from my grandmother that I just did a minute ago. She got me a like, um, lip balm and then this which I adore and other people are like, oh that's education, no. This has got me written all over it. It is the Sunday Times Best Summer, Remember, Remember, the 5th of November, The History of Britain in Bite Sized Chunks by Judy Parkinson. So, this is a whole book of the history of Britain from, I think, the Roman invasion to the end of World War II. So, it's a vast amount of time and there's so many things in here there's like things that you know obviously so like world war one world war two the battle of britain and then there's other things that are like that you don't really hear about like the financial crisis the women get the vote on equal footing with men the armbritza massacre in india the battle of stalingrad and the aim of this for me is to read one and then do a blog post. So by the end of this book, I will probably have 200 blog posts to do my op opinions on history events. The next thing I got was from another auntie of mine who gave me a, my auntie and uncle gave me a boots voucher which I bought some stuff with which I'll show you in a minute. And she also gave me this. this. It's a massive like wash bag vanity case and it's by Along Came Betty which I think is just an adorable name for a brand. And I've never heard of this brand before but inside as you can imagine it's full of goodies. So as I said I bought a couple things with the boots voucher that she actually gave me. So the first thing is one of the new um, Maybelline, nope, doesn't say what it is. One of the just one of the new Maybelline, I think this is Colour Sensational lipsticks, which I adore the packaging of, and it is in the colour clay. I think I'm actually wearing it today because it goes with this top really well. And it's called Clay Crush and it's matte. Yes, it's colour sensational. The next thing I bought with my boots voucher was actually a um, mascara. Kind of a boring one, but I've never tried this one out, and it's what just won like the number one mascara of the year or something like that. And it is the Lash Sensational Lash Multiplier Mascara in a tense black. The next thing I bought was the Quick Fix Facials Purifying Charcoal Mask Congested and Lifeless Skin. Yeah, this is a charcoal face mask, and it just is supposed to clear your pores and be amazing. I've heard tons of reviews on these and I really wanted to try one out. They're not cheap, I think this was like £5.29, but if it helps, it helps in my opinion. The next thing was from my other grandparents and they bought me a few things, so I'll just start. So the first thing they bought me was this 400mm Yellowstone Flamers Cook Flask. Now this is making the impossible possible. I love things like this, things that blow my mind, and it's really nerdy, but I don't care. As you guys know, I do 10 tours, and I do a lot of walking and expeditions, and I love the outdoors. So this is a flask that cooks the contents. The next thing they bought me was actually a kind of jokey present, and really boring, but always need it and that is just a scientific calculator. The other thing they bought me is this. Now this is a DIY camera kit. You make your own camera. That's literally what this is. It, you make your own camera and it's a film camera and I love cameras. I have this must be my sixth camera now I think and yeah the fact that you make this yourself is just really personal and I love it. The last thing they bought me is actually on my wrist. It is a compass to represent 10 tours. So the next thing, onto my stocking. So this is my stocking. I actually have it with me because it's still full of stuff. And the first thing that in my, was in my stocking was this Forever 21 choker with a pink pom pom in the middle. The next thing in my stocking is this. Now this is a pomegranate and mango face mask. So the next thing that was in my stocking is this now. This is a Vaseline tin that contains three Vaseline. And the final thing in my stocking is this Lynx Attract For Her set, which is just the deodorant and the body wash because I've been wanting to try this out for probably about two years now. 
So then as for my main present from my mum and dad, they got me one main thing with many things on it and that is a, another bracelet. So I'm, this is the bracelet they got me when it focuses. They didn't get me the two beads, I've actually bought those with my Christmas money but yeah they just bought me the stoppers and then a rabbit bead. Then I bought this blue dotty one and then there's a bindweed which is my birth flower. Then this pink champagne one which I bought and then a butterfly to represent my mum and then another stopper and on this is a elephant clasp so yep yeah, that was my Christmas present to match my birthday present. The next thing I bought was with my Christmas money and these are these Doc Martin combat boots. These were actually £49.99 so £50 down from £104.99 and these are out of my comfort zone. I wouldn't normally wear things like these, but I bought them and I love them and they're gorgeous. The next thing I bought with my Christmas money is this. Now this is a jam jar speaker. Now these were 60 pounds, but I got mine for 30 because it's gone down in price in curries. Me and my sister actually stood in curries and compared the sound of this to higher end ones of about 80 pounds plus and one of them that we compared it to was the Beats um, pill. Now the Beats pill had gone down to 100 pounds I think in the sale in curries and I wasn't really opposed to buying that one and I just wanted a portable speaker that produced good sound and I didn't really have a price limit. So I ended up buying this one because when comparing it to the Beats pill this was clearer it got louder, It you could hear the words, you could hear the music, even down to the last thing in the background. So if you're looking for a portable speaker, I wouldn't buy the Beats Pill because it wasn't clear, it vibrated too much, the sound muffled and went like um, crackly, whereas this is so clear. Then from my sister, she got me an eyeshadow that I'm wearing which is like a burnt orange one, this top uh, purpley eyeshadow and a nude eyeshadow and then she got me, well she didn't get me, she made me this. Now this says nearly naked on it which you are not going to be able to see at all but it is an acrylic container. In this acrylic container when you open it, the lid says nearly naked and then you have this. Now this layer has eyeshadows that come from the whole range of the Urban Naked and Basics palettes. So there is the top one is TY to replace was and basically what she's done is taken some, so like Foxy from a palette and she's replaced the name with ones that are she associates to me. So. TY to replace was, Cheeky to replace Nudie, Writer to replace Strange, London to um, replace Tempted, Baby to rep replace Foxy, Latte to replace Suspect, Nearly to represent to replace Naked, Chip It to replace Toasted, Moona to replace Nuna, Sitterford to replace Mugshot, Libra to replace Faith, which she got wrong because I'm Virgo, and Power to replace Extra Bitter. And the aim of this is to go out and collect the eyeshadows of different the different colours, but not by Nate Urban Decay, by different brands, and then compare them to the Naked palettes and see if actually the drugstore brand is better or that the drugstore brand compares. So I think this is a beautiful gift. So yeah, she spoiled me and I think that was really creative and a really nice idea. So that is pretty much everything I got for Christmas. I also then got like a DIY lens kit for my iPhone um, and lots of other little random bits and bobs. I also got a load from my friends, so thank you to my friends and to my family for everything. I really appreciate it and I hope some of you guys saw some stuff that you might want to go out and buy now. And yep, I've got to clear this all up now because this has created a massive mess. So I will see you next week for another video. Bye! Now, where did the glittery thing go? Hmm. The next thing they bought me was actually chocolates in a bag, but I've eaten them all. And it also came with a bottle of wine, even though I don't drink. And that's not in there either, which worries me because I haven't drunk it. 
is more to me than people know.